Hi there, you're welcome to Jamie Rx Gear channel where we talk about medications and how to use them properly. All right, if this is your first time on our channel, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. That way you're able to get alerts anytime we post our educating content. All right, let's dive right into today's topic. So our medication today is going to be Tessalon Pearls. The generic name of Tessalon pearls is benzonatate. So you've probably gotten this prescription if you went to like an emergency room for a coughing cold symptoms. It's a yellow pearl um, capsule, which is very beautiful. And I get so excited when I get to feel this medication. Just kidding. Okay, so kind of off tangent. So this medication is um, known, like I said, as a cough suppressant and it works by reducing the cough reflex and also numbing that um, stretch receptors in your lungs to kind of help reduce how much coughing that you're doing all throughout the day. So what it will do is kind of suppress that cough that way when you're coughing, you're not using so much reflex and it's not, you know, it's reducing that stretch receptors like i said in your lungs to help reduce how much coughing and how much um energy you're taking to um exude that cough that you're coughing all right so what is the maximum dose of benzonate the maximum dose is 600 milligram a day so usually they'll write it um it comes in a 100 milligram and a 200 milligram capsule so if you're taking the 200 milligram capsule it'll be three times a day only as needed so only when you're feeling that consistent cough then you can take one um capsule and you can take one capsule three times a day if you're taking the 200 milligram for the 100 milligram you can take up to two um to make up for that 200 milligram and you don't want to take more than like i said 600 milligram um a day all right so like i said it comes in capsules and what are some of the side effects of tessalon pearls all right so some of the side effects of tessalon pearls that you can expect is drowsiness it can also cause headache as well as dizziness it can cause nausea um constipation it can cause some nasal congestion as well as eye burning sensation some patients have reported that like i said the side effect is a two-way street it's either you get it or you don't get it um usually some patients report the side effect and sometimes it's not necessarily due to the um medication it might just be some extra symptoms that they're feeling because they haven't um, another condition that they may be treating. So not to worry, you can always try um, benzonate. And if you start feeling those side effects, then make sure you reach out to your doctor if it becomes bothersome so they can write you another medication. All right. So how do you administer um, uh, Tessalon Pearl? So usually it's an oral capsule, like I said. It will usually start working within 15 to 20 minutes of taking the medication, and it usually lasts about eight hours. So that's why you want to take it three times a day. Um, sometimes it lasts less than eight hours. So the, the lasting period or duration is three to eight hours. So like I said, it's three times a day, only as needed. When you're feeling that consistent cough, then you can take the Tessalon Pros. I've heard some patients said it didn't really help them with their cough, but it's always something you can try. This might not be the case for everyone. So like I said, you can try other medications as well. If the Tessalon Pros is not working, other cough suppressants such as the Delsim, but this is what you will usually lean um, towards if the patient for some, you know, reason, maybe if the patients are on an antidepressant with Delsim, then they can take a Tessalon Pearls to help avoid that serotonin syndrome. All right, so this um, benzonate is not recommended in patients less than 10 years old, so it's usually prescribed in our adult patients. All right, so I hope this video was able to help you narrow down, you know, what to expect while taking Tessalon Pearls. Um, like I said, if it's not working or you don't feel the effect as much, you can always reach out to your doctor and they can substitute it for another medication. Um, thank you for watching this video. Make sure you hit your like and subscribe button. Also, stay tuned for our other educating contents. Feel free to watch other videos that we have regarding co treating cough symptoms. And we thank you for watching this video and stay blessed.